With two wins out of two, no goals conceded as well. Six points on the board, looking for at least a draw to make it to the final on the 10th of June. That's all they need to eat a little bit. In the first five or six minutes of the game, it's never going to stop the Blue Pilgrims who will uh, constantly be in the background. But it's really the noises that appear on the foreground. Everybody was expecting they, them to do better. Maybe this is the frustration now. They have not been doing that great. Particularly playing the hosts is the game you want to... It's just an observation of the different styles of, of play from India. When the two different strikers are playing alongside Sunil. There you go. In the defensive half, Balwan Singh at the moment. That's a shot. Certainly rattled up. For New Zealand, after sort of 30 minutes, they'll be out of gas a little bit. So, India will do well to weather this storm. And, uh, you know, if they can regroup at half time, I think India's got a great chance in the, in the second half. Yeah, we saw some of these uh, individuals on the pitch at the moment for New Zealand come on in the second half. You know, obviously, if a coach has used 22 players, made five some. It's a lovely turn. Ingram still going. Here's the cross. Here's the header. And this has been a theme of New Zealand throughout the, Get the ball position, and you lose it by trying to not win. Early days for Ashik Karunian, of course. Put pressure well enough on Sarpreet Singh to not really have the time and the space to create any trouble for India. Whipped in. Good save from Amrinder. Wow, that is some save indeed. It was brilliant in both the matches. You, totally right, Ishfaq. You can even see when the, the Indian boys get the ball, they're not looking to, to Balwan's feet. They're going into his chop. Oh, I, I can't get my head around some of the substitutions, particularly when this is a, a must-win game. Uh, don't even think about the next game. If, if you make the final death rate with your crossing, is, is really, really strong. Salam's playing that player onside. This could be trouble for India. Sarpreet on his favour. Left foot gets a deflection from Thapa. Will bring news. Uh, they really need to try and score early. Uh, and, and take the game to Chinese Taipei because let's be, let's be honest if uh, if both teams draw here they're out that might be a worrying factor for coach because ultimately you need goals you know how long you will rely on your defense to hold on and hold on there in Mumbai that's Sir Preet Singh and that's a lovely ball the creativity that Ishfaq was talking about but a great tackle from the Chinese Taipei defender which is it Interesting tactic to put Will Donkin out on the left and not having more central like he was the first game. Well, I think that's because uh, they uh, coach must have thought he want more quality balls in from out and uh, there is a chance, but very poor header. I think he was going for the national side now three after the previous game. Not many goal scorers in the ranks as well, Eric. No, that's right, yes. Yeah. Against the wall stuff, against the likes of Kyrgyz Republic or Myanmar away, which Neet Shetri, by his own confession, said was one of the hardest games the side has ever played. Well, as Anand, we were talking. They absolutely un unleashed that left foot did. How is it? Here's a chance for New Zealand. There's another one lurking around and just not being able to find the finish. Can it be this time? Sarpreet Singh goes down. His this could be a good result as well, though. If uh, New Zealand do hang on to it or do build on it, because after what I saw did for Bengaluru FC not too long ago. Meanwhile, a lovely ball towards Bevan who can double his scoreline or give an opportunity to Sarpreet. With the throw, that was a foul throw. Well, that's not a great throw on the other side as well, but somehow Bevan manages to keep it in. And the man who uh, committed the foul throw in the first. Thomas Doyle going out for Maya Bevan. And there's a second change uh, that the Kiwi side made. That will be coming shortly on your screens. Yes, Maya Bevan, who's just come on right now for his captain, uh, currently playing uh, in the Swedish. Yeah, they looked quite stretched, didn't they? Uh, we'll have to watch the replay again. Here's New Zealand. Do they have a chance to equalize? Not really. Comfortable with the ball. That's one of the qualities you'll find with these African players. Very good on the ball, very good with the feet. Hard working, know how to use their body. Here's New Zealand. Kiwi players doing just that. Puts in a good cross. And the Kiwi player does well to make that header. There's just no power in it. And thought he was well within his right to do that. Come on! 
Or rather not to go down to that first goal to Kenya because they know how to shut things up, shut shot up. But here they are, New Zealand now, found a bit of an opening. 23 average age compared to 21, so maybe those extra two years uh, average age makes a difference, in, in this circumstance anyway. Kenya will